I'm vlogging, it's boring, I'm police. Shut up. We're picking up our um, RV, I'm very excited. It's about to be vacation time, y'all. Oh, and the dump truck song just came on. It's gonna be a good day. Flynn, are you playing with bubbles? Yeah, yeah. Yeah? Is that fun? More. More? Okay, ready? <gasps> Whoa. <gasps> there they go. <laughs> so many bubbles! We got the RV. Eric's cleaning it out. I'm trying to be more organized than last time, so I'm like setting up everything we need on a table. And I'm gonna bring a can opener this time, because if you guys watched last time, we forgot a can opener. It was big drama. Um, we forgot like kind of everything last time. We didn't have toilet paper, we didn't have paper towels, we didn't have trash bags, we had nothing. So this time we are going to be much more prepared because we're gonna be gone for a week and we're going to lots of different locations. We're going to the beach, we're going to the mountains, we're going to a lake, I think, the woods. We're kind of gonna be all over the place. So we wanna make sure that we have everything we need so we don't get screwed. Yeah! Yeah. Since we're still in COVID land, pandemic land, we don't want to come in contact with any other people. So it's not like if we forget something, we can just like go to a Walmart. First of all, there's not really a lot of Walmarts in California, but also we don't go to places like that. We get everything delivered so we don't come in contact with other people because of COVID. So if we forget anything, we forget. We need to make sure we have everything before we get on that RV. Plenty of having fun. Yeah, there's lots of bubbles. You're almost out of bubbles, so enjoy it while it lasts. Is this fun for you to just stand there? You're not even playing in them. Yeah. What's going on here? Hey, what are you doing? Are you putting those on Mumu? Yeah. Are you gonna put one on? Yeah. Okay, put one on. What color is that? Ooh, beautiful, let me see. <gasps> beautiful, what color is it? Dark. Yellow. Pink. Pink, yeah. Good job, beautiful. You wanna put it on Moo Moo? Okay, very nice, beautiful. Ooh, beautiful. Yeah, can you get me one? decorated me. Yeah, put it on here, baby. Whoa, cool. Do it again. Okay, do you want to do more? Ooh, pretty, oh. Good job. I love it. Should we put some of this color on? Ooh, pretty pumpkin. Ooh, pretty Flynn, that looks really good. Very nice, put it in the sun. That's a gorgeous pumpkin! Beautiful! Come on, those are 
so cute! How stinking cute are these? Are you kidding me? So freaking cute! I'm obsessed. <gasps> They turn purple. Pink and blue makes purple, Flynn. We're trying sprinkles instead of food coloring today for the colors. He has not figured out that those are sprinkles yet. Otherwise, he'd be drinking the water. And thanks to our game. Yeah, someone sent us plastic so that he can do the science experiments without breaking my glasses. That was very sweet. Thank you. You want to take a sip? Yeah. I wonder what he's putting. No reaction. <laughs> <laughs> Is it yummy? Yeah. <laughs> okay, good job. Is that pretty good? Here's some pretzels if you want a snack. Ooh. <laughs> Whoa, how did he make that? It looked like from over here, like through the water. Well, this is really yummy stuff. You want to try a bite? Yeah. What do you think of that? It was like bananas and mangoes and apples. Is that good? He doesn't care. He's got a science experience. Another bite? Oh, you know that. It's like bananas and mangoes, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Flynn, you're such a ham. So Eric has spent the entire day cleaning out the RV and he's been working tirelessly to make it super clean for me and Flynn. So we're about to go see it for the first time. So I found this company Outdoorsy on Instagram and I reached out to them and they are giving us this complimentary RV for the week and I'm just so excited to use it. So let's go check it out, I'm really excited. So when you open the door, this these stairs like come down electronically and then you come up here and are you ready for the reveal oh, so this is the rv as of right now before we've put anything in it we have this little table chair situation happening here this converts into a bed but i don't think we're going to use that we'll probably just use this area up here which also can be a bed area or storage here is the sink area these are cutting boards and also obviously is the sink and here's some storage for pots and pans. Here we have the fridge. We have more storage. We have this TV, that's me, hello. Over here we have more storage, microwave. And this is the sink, bathroom area. Here's the shower and toilet. So here's another bed option right here, which is very fun. We have to put sheets on and everything. There's more storage up here. So this is the RV. Oh my God. This is so crazy. So it is a little bit bigger than the last one. Barely though. It's the same length essentially, but this one has a pop out. So like part of the truck is like currently popped out, if that makes sense. So it gives us a little more room. So when you're driving, this becomes infinitely smaller. But this is the RV we're gonna be living in for the next week. So that's my little RV tour. So now I need to pack up the RV. I've started the packing process already, not clothes, just like stuff you need in the RV, like the pots and the pans and the, the bug spray and the all the things. So I need to start putting that stuff in here and then I'm doing laundry so that I can put everything else in. I feel like we've been working on this all day and we're not even close to being ready to go. This trip just like totally snuck up on us, but I'm excited. The first location we're going to is kind of in the middle of an of nowhere it's like a really really remote tiny little camping site there's only like 12 spots it's gonna be very woodsy so I'm excited about that but also terrified I'm exhausted <laughs> we're not even like halfway done I don't know how people do this like how do people like go live in a van for a long time like this is challenging trying to figure out all the things we're gonna need with a kid in all different types of climates and atmospheres and finding the space for everything inside the van or RV is like really hard because I'm like trying to be really careful with where I put things and how much we're taking, like only taking exactly what we need, but it's still like we're already out of room. So I'm like, how do people do this? It's very stressful. Hello children, hello children. So ask me if we're all packed for our RV trip. Daisy's 
butthole right in my face should give you a good answer that basically describes how ready we are for this RV trip. I'm kind of packed. We've got all Flynn stuff is ready and that's all that matters. Uh, I think she knows we're leaving. She can tell like what, whenever all of our stuff is like packed, like when I go on tour and stuff, she always like can tell, she knows. Come here, Daisy. I know. Anyway, I'm excited though. So tonight we're here. It was nice having the day to like pack up the RV and like get everything ready. And then tomorrow we go. First stop is like the middle of nowhere. Like abandoned buildings. The only thing on this like campgrounds is like trees and abandoned buildings. So it's probably haunted and I'm really scared. There's cat hair in my mouth. But it's almost one in the morning and I have a lot of work to do tomorrow before I go. I have to film videos and edit and stuff. <sighs> I'm very tired. All right, I love you guys. I'll see you tomorrow. Goodbye. Tonight, you guys, or six, right before your eyes, I'm because.